Hello there. So, this is my first video on this channel. Hello, how are you doing? My name is Nick. I am a diehard Orioles fan and I love baseball. So, you know, let's get right into this. So, today, as an Orioles fan, I am going to be telling you my honest opinions on the signing of Jose Iglesias. So, let's hop into that. So, here's the deal. The Orioles have been one of the worst teams in baseball for, I think, two years now. Maybe three. Not sure exactly when it started. Either 2018 or 2017. They have been horrendous, terrible, horrible. And, like, they've just been getting rid of all their players. Like, they got rid of Manny Machado, but that was for a good purpose, actually, so it's not that bad. They got rid of Adam Jones, like, literally everyone. Um, Jonathan Scope. So, they finally decided to sign someone, being Jose Iglesias. So, he's on a one-year, $3 million contract with a team option for 2021. That will be worth roughly $6.6 .6 million. Um, so, I think it will be a good uh, addition to the team because... Instead of going out and trying to get a big name like Francisco Lindor that you're never going to get, you know, or something like that. They just went with a smaller person that will do better than what they had before. Which is uh, Richie Martin. And for this video I did some research on their stats. And for Richie Martin's stats, I just put bad with three exclamation points. But... It was his rookie year, so, you know, that's also something to think about. But it was, like, a negative war. It was pretty bad. Um, so, in 2019, Jose Iglesias batted 504. Nope. Never mind. Sorry. 504 at-bats, 145 hits, 11 home runs, 288 or 288 batting average, 62 runs, 59 RBI, uh, a 318 on base percentage, a 407 slugging percentage, and a 724 OPS. So he's about an average player, right? But um, the Orioles have right now a bunch of absolutely terrible players. So it's still an upgrade nonetheless. And Richie Martin is, like, nowhere close to him. And um, uh, I looked at the games. I didn't write them down, but it was anywhere between, I think it was, like, 140, maybe, for his games played. So that's pretty good for that many games. Like, that's above league average, I believe. Um, so he's not a big home run hitter, but... That's not really a huge deal. Um, he seems like he can get on base a decent amount of times. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's, he was a leadoff hitter, so 59 RBI is pretty decent for a leadoff hitter, I would say. But a 407 slugging, that is pretty good. So, um, I also wanted to add in his defensive value for this video with... Uh, a 980 fielding percentage, and I believe eight defensive runs saved, so that's not too bad. Um, so I think he will be a decent addition to the team. Uh, even though he's not a good, he's not a superstar. He's just um, one player that could make the team just a little bit better moving forward. So they're not as bad as. This year and last year. Um, so, his career stats uh, in 11 years. Um, he has a 10.5 war in 
He has 739 hits and 2,706 at-bats. 32 home runs, so like I said, not a big power hitter. Um, a 273 career batting average, so that's a bit below the average, if I'm not mistaken, but he's still not terrible. Um, 309 runs, 247 RBI, a 315 on base percentage, a 371 slugging percentage, and a 687 OPS, which is really not that good. But um, last year, like I said, he had a 724 OPS, so that's still an upgrade. Um, and I also did some, I looked at the games he's been playing, and he has been getting consistent playing time since 2015. So he really did all those stats in four years mainly. Um, so I would say that that's pretty decent for a average player in 40 years. Um, so I do think it is a good uh, addition to the team. But it's not a big superstar or anything. But um, I think it will definitely help. And I think they're going in the right direction of signing people. So... That is going to be it for my last video, so, or my first video, I should say, and I just wanted to give my honest opinion on this trade, or I mean the signing, uh, so, peace out, you know, never mind, sorry, not done yet. They just went out and signed someone that's not going to need a lot of money and will be a decent player, which I think they did a pretty good job of, um, because Jose Iglesias is really not that bad like if you're like me and play MLB the show all the time he's either a 78 or 79 overall shortstop so that's not that bad um like it's it's not gonna be on your squad but he's he's pretty decent like at the beginning of the year you could use him so that will be it for this video hope you just you know liked my opinion or thought it was a decent first video um, so, peace out.